Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Scavenger. Welcome to another episode of Where It All Began. We're going to pick up right where we left off in the last video, so uh, let's go. Alright, so if you're new to the channel or new to this series of where it all began and you want to see the previous videos, make sure you check out the playlist. There should be a link popping up in the corner right now. Also, if you decide you like this while you're watching, go ahead and smack the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And turn on your bell notifications. That way you always know when I'm going live or uploading new content. With all that out of the way, and now we can go ahead and see what's going on here. Um, I think our guy here is getting ready to go on a trip to see some family still don't know exactly what happened it, it's kind of we got this slow burn or whatever just trying to figure out everything it's weird it's weird there's a lot of mystery for some reason uh ocean the developer of this game and summer's gone just likes to have a lot of things shrouded in secrecy and, and whatnot I, it's weird but here we go here we go i think we're about to get ready or, or leave steven we talked about this. No sneaking up with the fox walk. I couldn't help it. The quietness that filled the room was too beautiful to disturb. Quiet moments like these are valuable in a fast-moving society. Okay, I need to relieve some stress. We might need to hit the gym. The gym won't help you in this case. I can help you with the stress relief if you move your butt over here. You go up to Mira. Mira gently grabs your hand and places it on her breast. Hold her. And tell me what's on your mind. I keep overthinking. I always refuse to think about it. The way I left. But looking back, completely objective. I did it in the most selfish way possible. Fuck. Uncertainty was a comfortable blanket. And I'm about to throw it away. Uncertainty is nothing but an illusion. Your subconsciousness is plagued by a shadow. And it expresses itself in a set of unregulated depressions and night terror. It feels like I'm suffocating. I see Helen's eyes staring at me with rejection. Not hate, just indifference. The human mind loves to think about the worst case, irrational what-ifs. You cannot prepare for what's ahead. But I can assure you it won't lead to such things as your mind is currently displaying. It's been so long. Now, like I said, he's preparing to go and meet some people from his past. Yeah, it's been long enough. It's time to face it. I like how she, um gave him stress relief uh, some people may think that's like sexual or whatever but um i i think it actually does help don't quote me on that but i know it, it would probably help me you know maybe we'll talk about that in another video too i don't know i'll take a shower and then we'll hit the road okay i'll meditate okay she's some sort of like um I don't know. She's got a lot of advice, like really good, like holistic advice. Um, and she knew how to calm him down in a good, natural way. So, kudos. Those jeans are tight as fuck. What's wrong? How'd you know something was wrong? You always raise your shoulders a little whenever something's bothering you. Daphne wrote me. And Daphne uh, was the one in the last video um, who's a friend of Steven's. But uh, she and Daphne aren't really fond of each other for some reason. Well, what'd she write? She asked how I'm doing. How dare she? <laughs> she is a good friend, but I can't oversee this attraction she has for you. So that's what Miru doesn't like about her, because Daphne's attracted. I, maybe she was an ex-girlfriend or something, I don't know. But I can see why somebody would be um, a little standoffish if they thought um, that there was a threat to their territory. No, I understand that. What happened that one evening? I, I don't want, y you know. You both had something to drink, and it was a very emotional scene. I pick my words carefully. A spoken word can never be taken back. A word that was spoken in the heat of the moment does not hold up. Still, I forgave her, but our relationship has been tainted. You promised me something last week. I did? 
the pictures. Oh, right. Come, let's do them. Okay, what, what, what pictures? This is not something I'm, I'm familiar with, so this is new to me. What's the point of taking these pictures if you aren't posting them somewhere? We were just having fun. We didn't know we were creating memories. Now, she, that's with quotes, so I don't know if she's reciting something that was said before or not. Every picture I take, or get taken, will be a memory at some point. I don't know what the future holds for us, but when I look back at these pictures in 30 years, and you and I are not together anymore for whatever reason, I will remember it all. The annoyed look on your face when you took around 100 photos of me, and I realized the pose that was not flattering, and you had to take another 100. The way you sometimes smile when I hit a specifically good pose, often when my butt is in focus. What can I say? I like your butt. And my butt likes you. Alright, get in position. Alright, I kind of see what she's saying uh, with the photos. Uh, I probably didn't portray it well in my terrible acting, but um, it's not the photos that she's going to remember so much as the moments while taking the photos. She was describing those more than like the photos themselves or having the photos as memories. If you know what I'm saying, you know? Do you? Do you? Maybe? Oh well, whatever. All right, she's getting in position. We're going to do a little photo shoot here. There we go. Damn, those are some tight-ass jeans. All right, good pose, good pose. All right, show me some... There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Another good pose. Is he a photographer, or are they just doing this for fun? I mean, I know they're kind of doing it for fun and for the memories, but... That, my question stands. Is he a photographer? What does he do for a living? All right, get into the car. <laughs> just a few, po you know, just a few photos is all. And uh, who's this? Are we already there? I don't know who this is. New character. What up, Marigold? Uh, Magrid? Magrid? Her name is Magrid? Okay, all right. What up, Magrid? Hello, Steven. How are you? Good, and you? Maybe I should give her a different accent. I, like I should give her an accent. It could always be better. But hey, I bought your book a few days ago. Oh, well, I hope you like it. Is he an author? The first few pages were very promising. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I guess he's an author. Maybe he's, an, uh, maybe he's a photographer and an author. Maybe he's multifaceted. Are they at a the store? Oh, is that just uh, some lady at the store? Jesus. You know what? I think he placed the spider beforehand. Why would I do that? Victory? But how would I be able to control the spider if I place it there beforehand? Maybe it's a special kind of spider. A tamed one that you can order around. And at night, you sneak down the apartment and train it in the back of a secret pet store. Alright, she's got a crazy imagination. Where you also had illegal spider cage fights, and she was the one who survived and got marked with the blood of its enemies. It was the only spider you could trust to handle this mission. What can I say? You got me. I have my eight eyes on you. Get your hand out of my pants. Magrid could see us. I don't want her to get in trouble. Old Magrid. Magrid the Grey. Magrid Potter. <laughs> what? I don't know where that went. I, di I didn't even think Magrid was that old. She looked pretty young to me. I don't know. <laughs> What'd you f*** Magrid? What? You said you have a milk fetish. Would you f*** her? Um, if that is an old woman, y yes, I guess I probably would. Oh my god. I hate it. But thanks for being honest with me. I'm sure she's hot on you. She always lets it hang when you're here. Oh, really? Okay. All right. That's interesting to know. How is this woman old? All right. Maybe uh, Ocean just doesn't know how to render old people. <laughs> that is not old. She might be in her 30s. Oh, God. If 30s is old, shit. <laughs> well, I did flirt with her a little before. I'm aware of that. Nothing over the top, though. We should get some snacks for later. Snackies for a great adventure? 
Yeah. Leave that to me. As you know, I'm a snacky connoisseur. Okay. Why are we looking at clothes then? Have you ever wondered about ripped condoms? What about them? We should get some. We've never used them before. No cream pie for you then. No, you'll pull it off before you. Can oh, well, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> so uh, they they've got to be trying for a kid. Either that, or she's on the pill or something. Those are the rules, Mister. I'll choke you with it. Oh, jeez, man. They have a crazy weird relationship. You know I like that. They're, I don't, they're not in the store anymore. We're, they're back at their place. A ripped condom. Imagine having a breadcrumb in the condom. I assume that would hurt. Top five things next to being slurped out by a spider I don't want to experience. <laughs> Did you pack some clothes? Two bags. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, we got the temptation out. You don't need that much. We're only staying for like two days. I need to be able to adjust for the occasion. As long as you carry them yourself. I'm stronger than you anyways. You push your front into her ass. Hey. You know the rules. Article 14. A dry hub that leads to too much arousal has to turn into a full out sex act. I am so confused by their their relationship. Soon there'll be no turning back. No, we really need to leave. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Sure. I would have. Been, I don't know how many people could just stop like that. I would just say let's let's do it then. We could get a quick in. <laughs> hey, I have to leave you alone for a few days. Just in case it'll take longer, I'll make sure to come home and take care of you. Daphne will look after you. Try not to bite her. And please, do not, for the love of God, escape. Love you. Oh. Alright, we're on a road trip. We're going to see family and or friends. Um, but we're going to do that in another episode. So thank you so much for coming by. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, you know what to do. Go ahead and smack that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And maybe go ahead and check out that Patreon link in the description. If you want to further support the channel, gain access to exclusive channels in my Discord server. And some spicy content that you can't get here on YouTube. There you go. That's all I got for you. You guys take it easy. Bye-bye.